recognize what this is? It is, oh, there it is, the Japan Crate. Woo! Lots of yummy goodies. I'm so excited to open this one. It should be really awesome, except the light is kind of blinding me. And although it's probably making the glitter sparkle, kind of can't see. So I'm just going to quickly move. Okay, so this is a little bit better because I can actually see things without, you know, blinking and wincing and probably not having marks over my face. So, and today, I'm all Team Sylveon. Yay! This, this one is so cute and fluffy. I picked her up at Us Comic Con and you won't believe how soft it feels. Whatever the material is, it's amazing. And what better day to indulge in all the Pokemon love than on a day when you get to open up deliciousness. This is going to be so good. At least I really, really hope it's going to be good. I've been looking forward to this for so long. It should taste amazing. And I kind of haven't really eaten anything all day so I can really indulge in this before heading off to chaos and noise and busyness with Riverfire tonight. So first, let's see what's inside there. Premium Japan Crate. So in case anybody doesn't know, Japan Crate is essentially a box filled with all things Japan. You get a box every single month filled with Japanese goodies. Now it is primarily food, so you get to try all the Japanese snacks and treats from pockies and lollies to savouries, even a drink. And sometimes they include other little things like stickers or tattoos or little toys or little trinkets. So it should be really good. I can't wait to see what's in this one. I've been looking forward to this for so long. Now. Pretty much anyone can order the Japan Crate. They do ship over to Australia. You just sign up for a subscription and every month you get guaranteed some goodies. Isn't that awesome? And lo so, let's check what's in this one. What's in the box, right? <gasps> you should get to see how it is when you open it because it really is just a wonderful sight. So, close box. And boom, 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 boom. Look at that. Before things fell out, how good does that look? Now, I'm assuming the things that fell out actually tell us what, you know, everything is. I'm hoping. And I can't pick them up because of my acrylic nails. Oh, no. Crap. I will get it eventually. Ah. The thing I couldn't pick up because of my fingernails ends up being a lucky scratcher. So you scratch your way and get some sort of prize or luck, I think. Oh, it's a prize for Japan Crate. Japan Crate's second year anniversary. What a perfect time to sign up. So this is the celebration lucky scratcher. After vanquishing the feared Mokawash villain, Enko and JC were able to use the magical candy key to unlock the treasure. Complete the quest by scratching off the layer of silver below to reveal your prize. You'll find anything from a new TV to special discounts to our brand new online store, J storejapancrate.com. Use the discount for more of your favorite snacks to boost your HP for the next adventure. Awesome! It's a prize and an adventure. Oh, I don't have a coin, but I kind of wonder if, you know, the knife will work. It does! So... Twenty-five percent off any purchase from the new online store, Redeem Online. Yay! Discount! I get goodies and I got a free sale thing on. Yay! Lucky Sylveon! Mwah! <laughs> Okay, now the important things. Woo! I get like a comic thing. How cute is that? I mean, the angry box on fire there doesn't kind of look all that happy, but everything else looks really cute. Japan Crepe Magazine. Ah! It tells you how to like use some of the different stuff and what's happening in Japan at the moment. And food, learning Japanese. Tsuki Moon Kazoku Family. 
I'm probably mispronouncing that and I'm really sorry. <gasps> Pikachu! Pikachu's always winning. And there's a Legend of Zelda box set and a bunch of other cute things. <gasps> and now it tells us about the food. There's a salt and butter flavoured chips in here. Salt and butter actually sounds really nice. Why don't they have more butter flavoured chips? And some sort of milk coffee bean puff. Oh, it's a barley. Puff barley that's like milk coffee flavoured. How cool is this? It even tells you what's in the different boxes. So I have the red premiums. So I get like all that. And if you get the original, you get all that. And you can even get a mini version, which only has a handful of things. So it's got like a soda gum, potato, chips and black pepper, lucky corn, pass cocoa. But we get all of this soda in here. And more milk thing, a strawberry and cola. And I think we get everything. In which case, there's a Pokemon thing in here, which is going to be awesome too. Oh, and look, it's a cute little comic. I'll read all this bit later, but yeah, you see, let's check out all the goodies in the box. That's what everyone knows. That's the exciting bit. There's something in here that looks like pills, so I'm going to take that out first because, you know, it looks like drugs, so, like colourful drugs. <laughs> it's a key of lollies. Check that out. How cute is that? At least I'm assuming it's a key. Now, it might be lollies. It might be gum. I'll try one out. Oh, of all the colours, the first one is brown. It's chocolate. It's like M&M's. It's chocolate that looks like drugs or pills in the shape of a key. So that's fun. <laughs> it doesn't taste quite like chocolate. You can kind of taste just the weird aftertaste thing that I can't recognise. <gasps> There's a toy in here. sleeping over there and she's not reacting to the squeaks at all so maybe not. How adorable though! Ah, found the soda! The soda's pineapple and mango. It's like a tropical flavour which just happens to be like my favourite flavour so that's going to be awesome. I'm not going to try this yet because I'm like 100% certain it's going to taste way better warm in the, after it's been in the fridge, cooled down rather than warm because it is a hot day. <laughs> It's pineapple mango sang sangaria, sangria, however you pronounce it. You know, the alcoholic drink. So that's going to be exciting. And there's like chips and goodies. And I'm just going to grab the camera so you guys can see inside the box with me. See how awesome all this stuff looks? Like, they don't not pack it well. There's quite a lot of stuff in here. Ooh. Alright, let's look at everything individually. Okay, so let's check out all the goodies in this box one by one. There is... Maybe I should use the scene because not being able to read Japan and just kind of looking at really cutesy adorable box things is kind of hard to just work out what it is by looking at it. But I think it's some sort of activity thing. I mean, it looks super cute. And like you can get different kinds. And I really, really hope it's the pink one. And yeah, it definitely looks like an activity from what you see in the back. And there's a shirt, so maybe it's like dyeing your shirt? Like tie-dye? I hope it is. That would be fun. Like the picture there has something with a cup and something with powder. But yeah, I'm, I'm not working it out. So let's open it and see what it is instead of, you know, reading the zine and doing the smart choice. It is the pink one! Yes! Thank you! I get my favourite colour on it. Ah. So it's the pink one and it's even got the cute little stickers and everything. and not like food so I'm gonna save that for later because I don't want to you know mess it up by not reading the instructions 
What's this? Food! Something puffy and something adorable and cute. And oh my god, check how adorable this is. It's only little, but it's so cute. Definitely savory. Kind of like cheese puffs. Oh, they look like cheese puffs too. See? Teeny witty little yellow things. It sounds like it should be savoury, it looks like it should be savoury, but although it's got the texture of chips, it is definitely sweet. It's actually really sweet. Like almost like there's a honey aftertaste. It's a corn crafter with apparently no honey, but I can definitely taste something very, very sweet. Okay, it's good though. It's like a very, very sweet corn cracker. But yeah, they're really adorable. If you like sweet and crunchy, then uh, if you can find it, definitely go for these. All right, what else? Candy bars. Alien candy bar with chocolate and some sort of biscuit things. Because you can see the little alien up to the side. Chocolate and biscuits, who doesn't like that, right? I mean, I'm a girl, like, I'm pretty sure I'm genetically predisposed to liking chocolate. It's not big though, it's only a tiny little chocolate bar. It's a messy one! Do you remember those ads ages ago for picnic chocolate bars, which were just advertised as deliciously ugly? Like, yay, our product's ugly, but it's delicious, like pizza. Mmm, it's nice. It's not cheap quality chocolate, which is good. And the biscuit things are kind of crunchy, wafery, and almost have like a peanutty thing to it. Yummy. Oh, and this looks really good. I'm going to take this with me tonight. So I'll take this down to River Fire. But they look like they're Kalolis. Cola. Pretty sure it's cola because there's little cups of brown liquid around it. But you know those sour strip lollies? I think they're like cola flavoured sour strip lolly, see? I mean they look really good, so I'm gonna take these as a snack during the fireworks. It's the milk coffee flavoured barley puffs. So barley puffs that are like milk coffee flavoured. Alright, milk coffee barley puffs. Do you think these guys would be a win? So I do have a fair amount of coffee and I might just be desensitized. So yeah, I definitely can't taste much coffee. I do taste a lot of sweetness. It tastes good though. I can definitely see this as being a cereal. It's probably like an American cereal. Because you know, it's super sweet. I like it though. Probably put a bit too much on my hands. I'm pretty sure this is going to be gum. I mean, at least it's adorable. Yeah, this is definitely gum. It even, it smells like Hubba Bubba's. Gum! Okay, so gum, also off to the side. Oh, these are so cute! I'm not sure what, I'm pretty sure they're just going to be candy again. They kind of look like they might be candy covered like sultanas or something. But they got little pictures of strawberries on them and they're super, super adorable. Like that's kawaii snack food. How cute. Oh, apparently this has a wheat cracker in it too. 
sugar. Everything has palm oil in it. So I kind of really hope that Japanese palm oil tends to be the more ethical kind and not the kind that's, you know, hurting all the orangutans. I mean, if you think about it, throwing it out because it's got palm oil in it is not exactly going to help the orangutans now. But they're so cute. It's not so tarnished, but there's something puffy in the middle. And they actually do taste strawberry -ish. like candy strawberry, not fruit strawberry, but strawberry. I'm not sure what's in the middle. That's probably way too small for anyone to see anything. But it does taste good. More candy! I have a feeling this is something that you add to a drink or it's something that is blue lemonade flavor. I mean, it's definitely a picture of a cup of blue drink with a straw in it, right? And on the back, there is a maze. Bunch of animals and you have to solve the maze. I am totally going to try and do this maze as soon as I get home. It kind of feels like a straw. There's two. There's one that's big and one that's small. So I don't know if I should like open it now or open it when I have a drink. Surely it'll be fine to open now, right? Ooh. It smells good. Very strong smell, but a nice strong smell. Almost lemonade -y. It doesn't look like a straw though. It's like a long white... Is it candy or do I put it in a drink? It kind of seems like bubble gum. Like it's really, really soft bubble gum. But yeah, very chewy and you can't get through. So I'm pretty sure that's bubble gum. Which is probably not quite planning. Well, you know. Goodies. I mean, it tastes nice. It smells really good. And it tastes nice. It is blue lemonade flavor. Certain this is bubble gum, so I'm just gonna put that down for now. Let's try other things. Oh, <gasps> Look at this! That is adorable! Alright, let's try the monkey. Very sweet. Ah, I think I know what it is, but it looks strange when you first open it. So, you know, clues! And puff! It's a blanket or pillow or like stuffing and it totally looks like stuffing, doesn't it? No, this does not look like stuffing at all. Okay, this this has to be got a cotton candy. Alright. Mmm. Definitely cotton candy. Really yummy cotton candy. I mean, I'm guessing all cotton candy is yummy. I just kind of haven't had any in life. I have no idea how long, like a very, very, very long time. Years and years and years. It tastes good though. And it reminds me of that video you can see with the little raccoon who gets the cotton candy and he goes to wash it as raccoons do and the whole thing disappears and he's desperately looking for it and it's so sad but so adorable and totally relatable. Mmm, tastes nice. Sugar high. Okay, these are definitely chips so cancelling out the sugar candy sugar rush with some sort of chippies. These will be obviously the butter and salt chips. They look cool. Alright, butter and salt chips. That should taste nice. I'm expecting it to be quite delicious. 
It smells like regular chips though. Oh, but they look awesome. Like, they're all super crunchy and crispy and kind of brownie. See, all of them are like that. They're really thick. See? Okay. I'm still pretty certain that these are the butter and salt chips because you can definitely taste something buttery. It has like that buttery aftertaste that you expect. And the ingredients are in Japanese here, so... Oh, I found the English one. That would explain it. They are salt and butter, but they taste sweet, and the reason they're extra thick and dark colored is they're made of sweet potato. So it's potato chips made of sweet potato. I mean, they taste delicious. They're really nice. Like, I was kind of thinking they'll be salty, so I was taken a bit by surprise. But yeah, sweet potato chips with a buttery aftertaste, and they're really thick and really crunchy. I'm guessing you might even be able to hear the crunch. Sweet potato. Hmm. I like sweet potato and I've always wanted to try sweet potato potato chips and I've never gotten around to it till now and I'm quite glad I did. I mean, obviously they're using the white sweet potato, not the orange one. Because the orange one will obviously be darker. But yeah, it's really, really nice. Definitely the kind of thing I would buy if it was in the stores. Oh, now hopefully this is salty. I mean, it's got a cute little Indian guy on it with a salt and pepper shaker. So you're kind of hoping that's like salt, right? Cute little Indian guy with a salt and pepper shaker. So these, these are definitely salty, right? Please let them be salty because everything has been super sweet. I love sweet things. I have a definite sweet tooth, but... Occasionally you need to do balance things out. They smell savory. And they look like regular chips, but you can see tiny bits of pepper on them. How cute is that? Mmm. These are good. Really good. Potato chips black pepper. Again, palm oil. Palm oil and everything. Red pepper as well. potato crackers rather than potato chips but I should have probably read the ingredients I just wasn't expecting it to not you know to be a problem turns out these are not vegetarian they have oh no 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 it's not that they have they may contain okay I feel a little bit better now may contain wheat crustacean selfish and shellfish so there might be sea creatures and selfish and selfish shellfish in here but it's only a maybe, so I'm guessing it's like equipment that processes the same thing, gets allergens, but otherwise it should still be safe to eat, and I really hope so because it tastes really, really nice. And they're crunchy and they're salty. Mmm. They're so flavorful. They are really good. Why is the bag so tiny? I want way more of this. Mmm. It's so yummy. Last little bitty cookies. We got everyday cookies. And I'm going by the reading of it as it's matched on with chocolate. I mean, the little squares at the bottom, they kind of look like chocolate. They do look like chocolate, right? But I have thought that something was chocolate before and it was Japanese, ended up being red beans. So, might be chocolate, might be red beans. I'm hoping for chocolate. I feel like I should be a fan of beans, you know, vegetarians. We all like beans, right? But um, I've never taken to red beans. I love beans, but they kind of had this weird aftertaste texture thing that I just never really took to. I don't mind red beans and like ice cream or something that you can't get that texture from. But most other things like the pudding thing. Oh, they're super cute. That's definitely.
slightly chocolate. It almost smells kind of like it would be chocolate mint maybe. It's a tiny green chocolate chip cookie. some cookie down my boots but what girl is not gonna love this oh a little thin bit of cookie and a lot of chocolate on the inside that that is divine everything in here has been so good okay so it's the activity box Pikachu bubble gum and the color straws which haven't been tried oh, and the drink which has to go in the fridge first Everything else has been really, really nice. So yeah, Japan Crepe Box. If you haven't tried it, definitely recommend it because everything just tasted amazing. And come on, look how cute this is. It's so adorable. <laughs> Yellow Bunny says to buy a Japanese Crepe Box too and have all the yummy goodies. It's like a party at home for yourself because you know you're, you're home alone. But at least there's lots of food and lots of yummies. And now I am off into the city. I'm going to walk there to get some more buddy points for my Pokemon Go. Go to the river at South Bank where there's going to be like a billion people. And enjoy River Fire, River Fire Fireworks. So that should be the next video straight after this. So if you want to see River Fire Fireworks, watch the next video. Yummy, yummy, lots of sugar in my tummy. So... Team Sylvia and me are signing off. Bye. Bye. Dun 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 I honestly did expect that to wake her up, but I guess it's a good thing she's such a heavy sleeper because I'm kind of being a horrible mummy trying to wake her up. But who knows, maybe she will like the toy when she, you know, finally wakes up. Kitty life, right?